Keeper's been a standout in the market for years and consistently appears in best password manager lists. So why is Keeper good? In this Keeper Review 2024 edition, I do a deep dive to uncover the reasons. Let's get started. To kick off this video, let's answer an important question. Is Keeper Password Manager easy to use? Personally, this is one of the aspects of the provider that stood out to me from the get-go. Once I installed the app and opened it for the first time, I was immediately met with a clean and accessible UI. It's not flashy or convoluted, which I see as a big bonus. All of the features are listed on the left side menu, which you can click to expand. To save passwords, all you need to do is access your private vault as displayed on screen right now and fill in the relevant fields, such as website URL, login name, passwords, and other information. And if you'd like to save a credit card or identity data, all you need to do is click Identity and Payment on the left side menu, then click on Personal Information or Payment Cards and enter your details. What's more, the UI is self-explanatory. For example, if you're wondering what the Breach Watch feature does and you click on it, a short explanation pops up saying what it helps you with and how to begin using it. You can use Keeper on an unlimited number of devices with a personal subscription, but if multiple users want to use the app, a family subscription is required, which allows different email addresses to be used, but more on that later. With that said, Keeper's UI does have slight differences between operating systems. For example, iOS and Android versions of Keeper have pretty much the same user interface, and the accessibility stays the same too, but there's no password import export option in the mobile apps, so that's something to keep in mind. For me, it's not a big deal because I can just import the passwords on desktop. Speaking of Keeper's features, the provider has everything you'd expect from a best password manager and more. Keeper's autofill makes logging in on websites and services for me that much smoother, while the password generator ensures that my credentials are as strong as they can get. To make my digital life easier, I can store all my credentials and other information like credit card information in one place, Keeper's Vault. Of course, I can import or export passwords with Keeper 2, which they make simple. Sharing the credentials I have in Keeper is easy as well. For example, to share a password for a limited time, I navigate to the credentials I'd like to share, then click One Time Share and set the period of when the link for the password should expire. I found this feature to be as convenient as other password managers like ProtonPass or NordPass. Besides the standard password manager features, Keeper has some cool extras too. My favorite one is Security Audit, which checks if my passwords are secure or need to be changed. I can also see how often I reuse a password on different websites, which to be honest, should never be the case. But to be fair, we've all been there, so it comes in handy to check if a password you frequently used leaked and needs to be changed as soon as possible. Furthermore, unlike Security Audit, Keeper's Breach Watch monitors if any of your safe credentials have been leaked on the dark web and require immediate attention to reduce your risk of your accounts or credit card information being compromised. But it does come with an additional price tag on top of the subscription, so that's something to keep in mind. It's a worthy investment in my eyes since leaked credentials can cost way more than just a couple bucks a month to prevent it from happening in the first place. Next, with a Keeper subscription, you get access to not only the password manager, but to a separate Keeper chat application too. It's a private messaging tool created for those who are looking for maximum privacy online. Personally, I don't really have a use for this, but if you need to discuss personal or business matters in a safe and private environment, Keeper Chat can be useful. If you'd like to get these features to secure your private information online with one of the best password manager 2024 options, scan the QR code on screen to get Keeper with the best available discount. With features and ease of use covered already in this Keeper Review 2024 edition, let's address the most crucial aspect of any cybersecurity tool, is it safe to use? Keeper uses the AES-256 encryption algorithm to ensure their clients' privacy, which is the gold standard and is widely used in the industry. Keeper employs end-to-end -end encryption locally on their users' devices, meaning that the passwords are only stored on your device and not on Keeper server, so it has no access to any of your saved information. Moreover, to further secure its reputation, Keeper has passed multiple third-party audits, confirming that the security it promises to users is delivered. That said, there is room for improvement in Keeper security. For instance, NordPass already adopted the XCHACHA20, which is faster than AES-256, so I don't see why Keeper couldn't implement the same algorithm. But overall, Keeper has great cybersecurity practices to make sure their users' information is safe and sound. 
And lastly, in this Keeper Password Manager review, how affordable is it? Is Keeper cheap? The provider has a couple different plans to choose from and even a free one, though it's severely limited. With the free version of Keeper, you can only save up to 10 passwords, can't use the browser extension, and have no access to any of the Keeper premium features at all. Basically, the free version removes 90% of why you'd want to use a password manager to begin with. Cool idea. That said, it might be enough for some users to see if they enjoy the general vibe of the provider before they decide to pull the trigger and get the subscription. Keeper offers a personal subscription which costs less than a cup of coffee per month and can be used on an unlimited amount of devices, as well as browser extensions. On the other hand, if you're interested in a Keeper family plan, it covers five users. It includes everything the personal plan offers, plus 10 gigabytes of storage and the ability to manage permissions, as well as share folders. This plan is pricier, but if you're planning to protect more than just one person's credentials, it's cheap. There's a downside though. Keeper does not offer a money back guarantee, saying that they deliver their software in full and can't uninstall it from users' devices. But in my eyes, other providers like NordPass offer a refund window for their users, so I don't see why Keeper can't have one too. All in all, Keeper is a robust provider, offering a simple and intuitive interface for those who are looking to organize not only their passwords, but other credentials like payment methods. It covers all the bases and has extra features too. So after this Keeper review, I can easily recommend Keeper as one of the best password manager 2024 options. I'm leaving the best discount for Keeper on screen, so make sure to get it. And if you'd like a more in-depth review of Keeper, you can click on the video on your right. See you in the next video.